Hi everyone, this is Terry. Someone asked a question about how to enter text in PE Design 11. I do have four videos in a series that cover all aspects of text in PE Design 11 on my YouTube channel under the PE Design 11 playlist. But what I'm going to do is show you how to replicate more or less what I have on the screen. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and choose File, New. This will allow me to erase essentially everything on the screen. When you want to enter text, select the text icon. This will allow you to enter text, small text, monograms, and also user map. We will choose text. Now what you'll see is an eye beam and you can see as I'm moving my cursor it looks like the letter I. Let's go over here to the right and select the text attribute tab. You can also see that we have a, a format or a type of font that's appearing in the box. The system will remember the last type of font you use. You can also go to font filters and you can go to the font filter settings. Right now, I've selected all types of fonts, so including true type fonts, so I'll just choose OK. I can also choose the size of the text that I want, and I'll go ahead and choose 80 so that you can see it. Right now, I have what is called Berlin Regular. I'm going to choose a different font. I'll just choose the Serif 03. Now, you'll notice the type of stitch that will be used we can also go ahead and select a color in advance. I'll choose this moss green. And let's go back to the text tab. When I click here on the screen, you'll now see that I have a dotted line. You'll also see the flashing bar over here in the right. So I can type something by selecting letters here. These are the letters and the characters that are available for this Serif 03 font. What I'll do is I'll just type PE Design. And you'll notice that it's very large. And I've decided that I really don't care for this font for that letter. What I need to do is to select it. If I click anywhere on it, it will select it and you'll see these handles around it. And all I have to do is go to the text tab that's now right up here and select a different font. So I'll go to the drop down and select a different font. We'll go down and choose a font that may be a little bit smaller. So let's choose Serif 02 and I like that. I'll just move it by grabbing hold of it and moving it over on the screen. Now while it's selected I can do a couple of other things. Let's say that one of the things I want to do is to change this P to a different font. I can select it. Now I have these handles. And what I can do is I can go to the text tab, select the drop down list, and I can choose a different font for that. I'll choose script 03. And I can also go to the color tab and I can change it to a different color. Now what if I wanted to change some of the other letters here? If I want to change them, I need to make sure first of all that it's selected with the black box. I can hold the control key and I can select every other letter or it doesn't have to be every other letter. It could be whichever letter I want. Now let's say I want to recolor that and I want to make it yellow. I can let off off of the control key and I can select that. Now let's say that what I want to do is I want to move those letters down. While they were selected I could do that. If I decide I don't like it just choose undo. Alright now if I want to make another change let's click off of it so it's deselected and I want to make another change. If I go up here to the text tool and I see the I beam. It means simply that I did not select that text. You have to select it in order to make a change. What I'll do is I'll choose a different font. And let me go ahead and choose block 5. 
and I'll type the word software. I've decided I really don't want it to be this large. You'll notice now that I cannot make that change because I've already had the I being on the screen. But that's okay, I can resize it. So I'll type the word software and I'll press enter. It remembers the last color that I use. I'll change the color to something else. Let's choose a purple. Now what I want to do is make it smaller. So while this is selected, I'll just grab a corner and I'll make it smaller. I like that. I'll click off of it. Let's say that what I want to do is I want to change the word soft to a different type of font. To do that, hold the shift key. First of all, you need to select your text. You can click anywhere on it, or you can click off and hold the left mouse key and drag over it. Using your shift key, select the S and select the T. What this does is selects everything that is adjacent from the first letter you selected to the last letter. Now what we'll do is we'll go back to text. So we're clicking the text tab. You can let go of your shift key. We'll select the drop down list and we'll choose a different type of font. Well, I really don't know what kind of font I want to use. If I wanted to filter that font, I can and choose for instance, if I want only a script font or something else, let's do that. Let's go to the font filters and let's deselect everything and let's choose script and choose OK. Now let's go in and find some script fonts. I think I like Connecticut, so I'll select it. Now what I need to do is I need to move this over because it's too close to the where and software. So how do I do that? So to move it over, we'll just take it and we'll drag it. Now you notice I separated the words and now I have two separate words. Again, if I want to make a change while a letter is selected and you have these green handles, you can do other things with it. So if I wanted that W to be larger, I can do that as well. Well, this isn't quite on my design page, so I'll scooch it over a little bit. And let's go ahead and choose the, the word software again. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the S that's in soft and well, with the shift key, we'll select the T and we'll change that to a blue. Okay, I hope that this information is helpful and that it answers the questions that the user had. If you have any other questions, as always, ask. Thanks everyone and have a great day.